Hey YouTubers and RV fans, so here I am trying to catch up on videos again. I don't know, um, I apologize to you, but at the end of the day, it really comes down to some challenges that I've had <laughs> over the summer. So I wanna kinda give you a little bit of an update, and then at the end um, of this video, there's a little surprise for you, um, a little something that I did. I did a thing, we won't even get into that right now. But, um, so let's start back for the summer. Mama Wags and I had a great time in Michigan. She was actually work camping up there and really enjoyed her time. She got to meet a lot of wonderful people and through those interactions actually made a commitment to um, come back to uh, the campground um, in, next year. So for all of our friends up in uh, Niles, Michigan, Hey, good to see you guys. And uh, it was a pleasure to work with you this summer. Now I got to meet everybody because Mama Wags was a work camper. So, and she was involved in, you know, work camping things. So it was nice that I got to meet a lot of people up there. Uh, interestingly enough, I had not met many of the, I had, I knew of those folks the year before when Alex and I went up there, but I didn't know, uh, know them as well as I do this year. Anyway, um, after a great summer, we left uh, Niles and then we drove down to Lexington, Kentucky, and we hung out at a Walmart overnight in Lexington. And from there, then we actually traveled down to Nashville, Tennessee. And um, we actually left the campground with two of our friends, Jim and Min. Uh, they, were, they were driving a 38-foot Miranda and towing a little Fiat. And, uh, you know, this was Jim's first time really driving for long periods, although he had come up from Arizona to Niles, um, you know, that was his first big trip. So it was a little bit uh, exciting for him to be back in that RV and driving uh, back to Arizona. So they followed us for a little while and we went to Nashville and then I, we hung out at the uh, Grand, Ole, uh, Grand Ole RV Resort in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, the people were really amazing there. I wasn't necessarily enamored with the way the the sites were set up um, but the people were very friendly and the rate was extremely uh, extremely friendly as well the one thing I really didn't I did enjoy even though I didn't was the railroad um, there was a track a train that would run it would seem about every 20 minutes um, through the park and um, <laughs> Um, sometimes they avoided using their whistle, but sometimes they didn't. Um, but after a while, you kind of got used to it. I was only there for a week. But the one thing that really, really was tough to manage was the heat. Um, I've got to tell you that the heat index up there was like 108 degrees. Now, I know it's been a hot summer across the country, but this almost killed me. So every day, you know, we were taxing the RV's um, AC system. But I got to tell you, the AC kept up. Um, the RV was nice and cool. Uh, despite the fact that the heat index outside was 105 degrees. So um, I got to spend time with my daughter. I got to see her new house and we went out to dinner a couple times, which was wonderful. So the visit to Nashville was a great um, uh, layover to coming back to Louisiana. So we left on the following Saturday, got back to Louisiana and I've been here ever since. So I'm currently staying at um, a beautiful park um, here in, um, in uh, Lafayette. And this is just a great park. I love the folks here, um, and uh, but just a nice park to stay at. So one of the things that I had to do after I um, um, purchased the Class C was figure out what I was gonna do when I wasn't having anybody travel with me. Um, the problem is, is that, you know, I really can't tow the F-150 on the back. And this is old news, it's nothing that's new. Um, but for the last year and a half, my son's been traveling with me or Mama Wags has been traveling with me. So they've been, you know, driving the truck. The problem is, is that becomes incredibly expensive. You know, putting money in the gas tank of the RV and then putting money in the gas tank of an F-150. So when I got back to Louisiana, I made a decision that I was gonna go ahead and buy a small travel trailer um, that um, you know would allow me some more independence and freedom uh, when people weren't traveling with me. So very happy to tell you that I did do that and that's the thing I was gonna tell you about. So at the end of the video, um, I give you a little quick uh, musical walkthrough uh, of, the, uh, of the new RV. It's a great setup for me. 
Um, it's small. It kind of reminds me of Traveling Robert because, you know, he has the F-150 and he has the, uh, the Mini Winnie. And so, now, you know, I have my F-150 and now I have my, my Mini Mallard. So, <laughs> um, so I'm really excited to get, get traveling um, with the Mallard and uh, I'll be going around when I don't have anybody that's going to be traveling with me. So, but I'm kind of stuff, stuck here right now in Louisiana. I've got some doctor's appointments I need to get caught up on and some other um, personal things I've got to get done here. And um, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to get back on track with my videos and my YouTube channel and my sincerest apologies to everybody for just really taking so long to put up videos. And I know I've said this before, but I really only want to put up content that has value and meaning. I don't want to put up content just to say, hey, I put a video up. Um, it really needs to, it needs to have value to me um, as the creator. You know, I want to make sure that, you know, my subscribers are getting the information that they need and um and are inter it's interesting I, the one thing i would hate to have you do is to fast forward through my video saying oh man he's so boring i can't stand it so anyway thanks for sticking around thanks to my new subscribers i know i've had quite a few of them um we're going to get back to some really exciting topics hopefully and um i'm looking forward bugs I'm looking forward to uh, getting back on track with my videos and doing some exciting things, especially with the traveling. So um, thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to push that subscribe button and I will see you on the road.